Hi everyone, I'm Fox 9 Chief Meteorologist Ian Leonard. Did you know that Minnesota has 27 tornadoes on average every year? And back in 2010, Minnesota led the nation with 104 tornadoes. Both scientists and storm chasers are getting a little creative, like building the TIV-2 you see below me. Trying to get inside tornadoes to study the violent nature in hopes of giving you earlier warning times and saving lives. Now let's go to my friend, Fox 9 meteorologist Keith Marler. He's standing by with the man who built the TIV-2, the man who stars in Tornado Alley. That's showing right here on the Omni Theater screen. I'm meteorologist Keith Marler. We are here with filmmaker of Tornado Alley extraordinary Sean Casey. Good morning, Sean. Good morning. Uh, we're standing in front of the TIV-2. Uh -huh. This is the vehicle that was in the Tornado Alley IMAX film. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about where you got the idea to do all of this. Yeah, uh, I wanted to do an IMAX film on tornadoes, and I wanted to get footage that, you know, wasn't taken a mile away from tornadoes, but right next to them and possibly in a tornado. You know, I really wanted to get that, that footage that really translated the power. So, of course, you can't do that in a normal vehicle. No, that's no. not going to happen. No, you want a little armor. And so I built this vehicle with a specific mission in mind to get a shot of a tornado forming in front of us, coming directly at us and impacting us. So this is a specially built vehicle for one mission, to get into a tornado. Yeah. All right, well, let's, let's take a little tour of the yeah, vehicle. Sure. Tell us a little bit about each of the components here. Yeah, well, one, it's a heavy vehicle. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we actually took a Dodge uh, 3500 pickup truck, tore everything off of it, added about 10,000 pounds of armor. Uh, the walling here is back up two a inches thick. Hold on. Uh -huh. 10,000 pounds of armor. Yeah, this weighs 15,000 pounds now. That's not a very good gas mileage. We get 11. Yeah. Do you really? We've got a, a Cummins diesel engine, and at 15,000 pounds, we yeah. get 11 miles to the gallon. All right, then. We've got a 92-gallon tank, so we've got a range of roughly about 800 miles. Okay, that's good. You don't yeah. want to be out of gas in the middle no, you, before you need no. it. No, you fill up in the morning, and then you don't worry about it. Because awesome. the last thing you want is that there's tornadoes happening, and you're filling up at a gas station. That's exactly right. All right, so you've got the armor. What else do you have? Okay, so what we do have is two-inch thick armor. Right. So this is eight different layers of different material, from aluminum, Kevlar, polycarbonate, steel, impact rubber here. Um, we have these panels that raise and lower to the ground. So when we're going down the road, these are up. So okay. we have a nice clearance to mm -hmm. go down those mud, dirt roads. And then when it's time to intercept, uh, the whole vehicle first lowers about six inches. We dump these airbags that we ride on. When it lowers, then we have hydraulics that lowers these panels to the ground to block winds from getting underneath it. Because the last thing you want to do is be upside down. Last thing you want <laughs> is to be common. Middle, don't you? You, no, you don't want to become airborne out there. Right. No way. Yeah. Because you're not like, sometimes you're just not in the middle of a field somewhere. You might no. be in a, in a city, in a town, in a community mm -hmm. when you experience Yeah, you things. never know under what conditions you're going to be presented with the possibility of going into a tornado. So you don't know if it's going to be picking up trees. You don't know what it's going to be picking up. And so, you know, you're very hyper aware. Even though we have an armored vehicle, mm -hmm. you know, a, 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 a telephone pole spear is going to go right through this thing. As we see in the movie, road conditions are not always optimal. No. Uh, mm -hmm. And there, sometimes tornadoes chasing you can get that adrenaline pumping, certainly. Oh, yeah. There, there, there have been moments where, you know, you like to say there's this one time mm -hmm. over the course of the last eight years that we were filming that we had that one moment where it got really hairy. Yeah. But there have been many moments where we found ourselves in a situation where instead of chasing the tornado, you know, we'd lost complete control of the situation and we were being chased by a violent tornado down the road. All right, Sean, we've talked about a lot of the armor. Tell us again about these panels. What do these do again? Yeah, you, you don't want wind getting underneath the vehicle. No. No. But you do want a high clearance when you're going down the road, you know. So these are up when we're going down the road, these panels right here. All right, that makes and sense. And so when it's time to intercept, the vehicle lowers to the ground, and then these, these panels are hydraulically driven straight down. So it blocks the wind from getting underneath the vehicle. It makes it go up and over. Right, exactly. Yeah. And about these spikes then? Oh, the spikes? Yeah. These go into the, yeah, the spikes are, spikes help. These drive all the way down, you go yeah. about three and a half feet down to the ground? Yeah, no, to... these go 42 inch stroke right okay. here. So the spike that usually is mounted here, mm -hmm. once this panel is down, it puts this in position mm -hmm. just above the ground so that we can drive that in to serve as an anchor. And you've got four of these throughout yeah, the Yeah, exactly. Well, do you mind firing this up and showing us oh, how yeah, these work? Oh yeah, of course, yeah, certainly. All right, thanks. Yeah.
right, Sean, another big feature here, one that can't be ignored, the turret. That is the key mm -hmm. feature. That is That was your home almost up in there for yeah. a lot of this. Yeah, the heart of the vehicle is, is the turret because that's where the IMAX camera that we have lives. That's where we film from. That's the whole purpose of this vehicle right. is to get footage. Now, and the, you, you say that's where the IMAX camera lives because that's not a, an IMAX camera for folks that don't know. It's not just something you throw over your shoulder and you run down the street with. How heavy is that camera? Yeah, the camera that we use, uh, it weighs 92 pounds. Oh, yeah. it's, it's 40 inches wide. Yeah. It's a very cumbersome large thing. Um, really difficult to, to, to film with. And the camera loads that we have, we use film. Mm -hmm. So we have a thousand foot load in our magazine that goes through our camera in two minutes and 50 seconds. So you have to get the vehicle where it needs to be, mm -hmm. and then you can only shoot in those little less than three minute bursts. Mm -hmm. How long would it take you to change film cartridges or film reels between the uh, uh, shooting? Ideally, you do it in about two minutes. Yeah. But they're, they're, you know, they're the conditions in which we are find ourselves changing right. film are usually intense moments. Things are happening outside. I'm hearing my driver and navigator like ooing and aahing over <laughs> what I'm missing as I'm changing the film. Right. Because I usually well, yell at them so that I don't hear what the, what's going on and what I'm missing. Because the camera's mounted and attached on the inside. Right, correct. And the whole turret swivels. That's the purpose yeah, of the turret. Exactly. So, all right, give us a, give us yeah, a shot sure. of swiveling around this thing. So, you know, you just like a normal turret, it right. swivels. Uh, we filmed through that port up there. So, oh, well, look at that. Yeah, when things get too messy, you right. close the door. And then when it's time to film, you open and film it. Thanks, Sean, for joining us this morning. We got to see all of this in uh, in static. Right. But folks can see this in motion, can't they? Yes, certainly. And how can they do that? Well, they can go see the IMAX film uh, Tornado Alley. Yeah. And that's just right across the hall over here on the giant curved yep. screen of the Omni Theater. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, of course. Certainly. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's one of the most destructive forces on Earth. And Minnesota averages 27 a year. Now you can ride along with storm chasers and experience it all. Point blank. It's directly behind us. See it. You don't have much time. Live it. Survive it. Join Fox 9 for Tornado Alley at the Science Museum of Minnesota's Omni Theater.